everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today I'm going to be showing you all the locations of the brand new movie prop treasure hunt by Solomon Richards. It just got added in the latest summer special DLC. It's quite a fun treasure hunt as well. Um, it's one of the better ones that we have received. It's also quite easy. So if you've not done it yet, definitely recommend doing it. Before you click away from this video, I would recommend that you attempt this treasure hunt because you can actually receive a $150,000 payout for it. So you get $10,000 for each prop you recover and there's 10 of them. So that's $100,000 and you get an additional $50,000 when you have complete the treasure hunt. So even if you're not into the collectibles, even if you're not interested in getting the alien suit, which is another prize you can actually win for completing the treasure hunt, you still get $150,000, which is quite a bit of money and it doesn't take all that long. So I definitely re recommend attempting it if you haven't already. So today I'm going to be telling you all the locations of the treasure hunt props so if you uh, are trying to do this treasure hunt and you want to know the locations of them then that is what we're going to be going through right here so before we get into the treasure hunt there is a couple of things just to note off the bat number one all of the treasure hunt items need to be returned to the office you can only collect one at a time and you have to deliver them back to the office so every time you find a collectible you need to take it back to Solomon Richards office before you go after the next one because you can only carry one movie prop at a time so that's something to note the other thing to note is not all of the props will spawn at the time you go and look for them so if the prop isn't there, it's not because it's the wrong location, it's simply because it's not spawned in at that time. So all you've got to do with this is maybe go and search for another prop while you wait for this one to spawn, and then in a couple of hours in game time, come back and hopefully it will be there. Now I have had a couple of uh, issues with some of the props not spawning at all. So if you do have any issues like that, just leave a comment on the video or hit me up on social media and I will try and help, help you out the best that I can. So location one is right outside the Solomon Richards office. Uh, as, a, as you come out of the office, you want to turn left and you will see this plant pot in the corner and the first prop is right there you want to go ahead and collect it and then straight away return it to the office the second movie prop is in this location here and it's actually in the very back office of the vanilla unicorn you want to just go inside the Vanilla Unicorn, shoot up the place, and then you will have access to the back of the, um, the back of the club, and then you will be able to go and collect the collectible. It's right here on the desk, as you can see. Um, it's a fairly easy one to go and get, and then you want to go and return this to your office. Location number three is located in the casino restroom. Now, this is not a location you'll probably visit very often, or if at all, in the casino. I'd never been in the bathroom in the casino, so I didn't actually know where it was. Um, but it's right near the high-end uh, table games. It's just to the right of the high-end table games. Um, you just want to walk in there, and you'll see it quite obviously. It's this massive, like, Indian hat. And it's sat in one of the urinals. Uh, so you want to just pick it up and take it to the office. Location number four is located out in Sandy Shores. And it's this kind of um, alien hill. You've probably all seen this before. And the movie prop is actually an alien head as well. You can find it right here. Um... And you want to go ahead and pick it up and take it back to the office. 
Location number five is also out in Sandy Shores and it's near one of the Biker MC businesses uh, by one of the clubhouses right here. Um, it's a fairly easy location. It's located out on the porch of this house. You want to just go ahead and pick it up and take it to the office. Number six is located in Fort Zancudo Military Base. And I would recommend that you either own a hangar in the uh, army base so you don't get wanted. Or if you're going into the army base without owning a hangar, then I would just recommend you turn cops blind eye. So you don't get wanted when you go into the military base. You want to go ahead and just go into these double doors right next to the uh, air traffic control tower. And you will see it's this movie prop um, like clipboard thing right here. You want to just go ahead and pick it up and take it back to the office. So location number seven is at the altruist camp. I'd recommend you go into the altruist camp with the armored Karuma because some of the residents that live there... Um, will start shooting at you. They don't seem to be very happy about having guests coming in to their camp. Um, so the armor Karuma obviously is the best protection against bullets. You want to just go ahead up to the very edge of the cliff over here and you can see the movie prop right there. You want to just hop out your car, grab it and then take it back to the office. Now, that is all of the confirmed movie locations. Um, number 8, 9 and 10 are all a little bit random. Um, number 8 can be uh, found in the industrial zone. I'll have a sort of picture of the map with a circle around it so you can see roughly the area where it will spawn. And I've got some gameplay here from GTA Networks. Uh, credit to him. I'll link his uh, channel in the description. Um Basically, the last three are all in vans, and they will spawn on your minimap as a little blue dot. You'll have to go ahead and kill the driver, steal the van, and take it back to the movie studio. So, number eight can be found in the industrial zone. Number nine can be found in the Rockford Hills area. Again, I'll have a picture of the map with a circle around, so you know roughly the area that it will spawn. And number 10 can be found up in Polito Bay. And these last three, as I mentioned, are all like vans that you'll find driving around. They're completely random spawn. There is no set time when they will spawn. There's no set location when they'll spawn. But they spawn roughly in these areas. So if you're driving around in this area, you see a blue dot on the map, then you might want to check it out because it might be one of these movie props. If you do find one of the movie props, then you want to just take it and deliver it back to Solomon Richard's office and you should, should be able to complete that movie prop. Now, this bit of gameplay comes from a user, GameClan. Again, I'll link his channel in the description if you want to go and follow him. And... Um, this is what happens when you actually collect all 10 of the movie props. I've not actually been able to do it myself yet because I can't get the random spawns. Um, so if you're having trouble with that, let me know and I'll see if I can help you out. Um, but when you go back to Solomon Richard's office, he'll send you another text and you will receive this alien suit which is in a box in his office. And you can actually wear this. It's the alien suit that you find in single player. It's quite a rare piece. So if you're into rare clothing, then it's quite a cool thing to go and collect. Uh, but if you're not into that, I would still recommend, as I said earlier, going and collecting the movie props. Because you get $10,000 for each movie prop you return, which totals $100,000. And you get a bonus $50,000 for collecting all 10. So you get $150,000 total, which can buy you a couple of things. And especially if you're saving up for the new December DLC, it could be worth it. And it's something fun and new to go and try in GTA Online as well. 
But that's going to do it for this video. I hope this was useful for some of you. Let me know in the comment section if you're having any difficulties getting any of the movie props and I will try and help you out as best as I can. And uh, don't forget to follow me on social media as well. Links are all in the description below. I'll also link GTA Networks and Game Clan in the description if you want to go and check out their channels. But that is going to do it from me. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.